Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this power meter. Now the display is not flickering in real life. It is nice and steady. It's got a very pretty blue. It is solid. So the video is making it flicker, but it's definitely not doing that in real life. So I've got it plugged in, powered up, and I'm also I'm powering the Samsung uh, 45 watt charger. And so I can see right now it's, it's pulling 16.2 watts. Okay, so this is the time that it's been connected to power. So the first number is 4 minutes and 42 seconds. That's how long I've had this device plugged in for. After 60 minutes, this will change to hours, and so that'll be the number of hours it's been since it's plugged in. Okay, so now pressing this function button, it's going to walk this display through several different... I'm going to explain each one. So the first one is watts. That's the current watts that's coming out of this plug right here. So press the function button one time. That's going to go to kilowatts. That's how many kilowatts this device, whatever is plugged in here, has used. Press it again. It says V. This is the line voltage and 60 hertz. So that's the current line voltage. Press it again. This is how many amps. This plug, how many amps are coming out of this plug? 0.167. And there's a power factor right here. Press it again. This is the lowest wattage that this device has seen with something plugged in here. And this is the highest. So at one point, this power supply here did draw 22.5 watts. Press it again. That's your overload. So once I reach whatever threshold I set that at, 3,680, once I go over that, it'll say the word overload. And that's why I can adjust that so that it'll say overload at different times. So this backlit display, after 10 minutes, the backlit display will go out. All you have to do is hit a button and it'll come back. So now that we're on the watts, you got to press and hold. We're going to change the cost. Press and hold the cost button for three seconds. Now the cost is... So once the kilowatts start flashing, you got to press the function button. And now I can press the up. This is the cost. So this is in dollars per kilowatt hour. So you may have to look at your electric bill to see how much each kilowatt hour costs. And that's how you change it. So again, hold the cost button. When the cost kilowatt hours hit the function button, and now I can go up, down, and that's how much per kilowatt. And if I want to change that second digit, hit the hit the function button again. Now I can do that. Hit the function button again. Now I can do cents. So sixteen dollars and sixty cents per kilowatt hour. Okay. So once you've got the cost in there that you want, hit the cost button and it memorizes it. Now, $16.60 is the cost per kilowatt hour, and that's what it'll be displaying. So now, as the, the watts go up, that price will start to go up based on how much you entered in each kilowatt hour cost. Okay, so let's unplug it and see what happens. It's got a nice three-prong outlet here. Now again, if you need to use this, this you can plug into your plug-in so that you can bring this farther out. That might be the best thing for you, is to bring this farther out. So even with that little bit of power outage, it's still remembered. It's been plugged in now for 11 minutes and 3 seconds. So I'm pretty anxious to start using this power meter. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.